Hey, what's up guys? So you know what's best today, the smartwatch competition on the iPhone just got a little bit tougher because Google has announced that Android Wear is now available for the iPhone. But now there are a couple of catches to this. And the first one is that Android Wear for iOS is not gonna work with all Android Wear smartwatches. It's only gonna work with the new ones that are coming out and also the current LG Watch Urbane. But I was able to get this thing working on my Moto 360. So again, I just downloaded the Android Wear app and I attempted to pair it with my Moto 360, which is updated to the latest version of Android Wear and it did work. So I don't know what Google is talking about there. Hopefully they don't close that up. And then the second thing is that you are losing some features while using Android Wear on iOS because Google does not have all the access to the iPhone like the Apple Watch does. So you can't respond to text messages and you can't talk to other apps on your phone unless they're a Google app like Gmail. But a lot of the other core stuff is still there. Like I can still get updates from Google Now throughout the day and I can also still do Google Voice Search and still use my voice to talk to my watch to be able to set a reminder or to find out information about when my favorite baseball team is about to play. So it's good to see that Google was able to get this far, but they still have a little ways before they can really reach the full functionality that the Apple Watch has on the iPhone. But for right now, I think this would be good enough. And so Android Wear will work on the iPhone 5, the 5S, the 5C, the 6, the 6 Plus, and more than likely the upcoming 6S and the 6 Plus S when those come out. And so what does this mean for the future of the Apple Watch? Well, I really don't know. I mean, Apple could drop the prices of the Apple Watch because of Android Wear coming. They could raise the prices, who knows? But but ultimately for the consumer, I know that this is a win because we now have an option or at least more options on the iPhone because there's Pebble, there was the Apple Watch and there's probably a couple other manufacturers. But Android Wear is a huge thing because Google is back in it, of course, this is Google's baby. And then two, there are manufacturers like Samsung and LG making this. And so they are already pricing their Android Wear watches competitively on Android. Now they're really gonna be able to do that on the iPhone because that's a huge market opening it up to them. And then the consumer also has choices with different styles and different watch faces. And if you wanna have a circular watch face, you can have that now by getting something like the Moto 360. So this is just a win. And then again, price. Price, price, price. You can get an Android Wear watch for hundreds of dollars less than an Apple Watch. So that's a huge thing. Now, is this gonna change your mind about smartwatches? Possibly and possibly not. But again, at least we have the option now and we'll see what Apple does in response to this. So again, I'll leave the link down below to download the Android Wear app onto your iPhone. And also leave a comment down below, guys and gals, to let me know what you think about Android Wear coming over to the iPhone. Is this a win? Is this a loss? Is this gonna mess up things? Just let me know what you think down in the comment section. Also like and share this video. And thanks for watching like always, and I will catch you later. Peace.